So this probably isn't too terribly surprising, but in MATLAB you can use signs like greater than or equal to, wait, that's not at all what I said, um, greater than or equal to or less than or not equal to and all this kind of stuff. Um, it's Every programming language is a little bit different. So um, we'll just kind of talk a little bit about relational. I think you call these like relational or something operators. I have no idea what you call them. It's the greater than less than stuff. So basically the idea is if I have x is equal to, I don't know, negative 3, negative 1, 1 and 3. And then I have y is equal to negative 1, 0, 1 and 2. All right. So not not terribly shocking values. Um, I have negative three, negative one, and three. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Now what I can do is I can say blah 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 is equal to um, like I could actually come in here and I could say um, is equal to x is less than y, and that actually looks funny. So let me don't do that. Let me don't let me don't do that. Let me don't do that. So x is less than y. I can just type that. And let's see what it does and see if this makes any sense. So basically, I'm going to say x is less than y, and it's going to come back with a whole bunch of trues and falses. So remember, 1 is true and 0 is false. So is x less than y? Well, in this case, yes, negative 3 is less than 1. Yay! Negative 1 is less than 0. Yay! Negative or positive 1 is less than 1. No! False! 3 is less than 2. No! False! So, um, so basically, I can compare... Um, vectors, I can compare just individual numbers. So if I had like 3 is less than 12, it would come back with a yes. So that's the second yes right here. Um, so I could say, and we'll get to this eventually, if 3 is less than 12, then say yay, and, and it'll work. Um, I don't remember what happens if I do this, but I guess we can find out. Um, it doesn't do it because they're not all less than. So that's kind of nice. Um, so it's not doing that because that's not all true. But anyway, so you can go x less than y, and it's going to come back and it's going to give you the individual comparisons for each element. I can say x less than or equal to y. So think for a minute. Think if you can anticipate what that value is going to come out to be. Um, I can actually store that information into a value. So right now you see how it went straight to just some generic answer. I can say like first thingy is that one, and I can say second thing is that one. So um, when you look at the second one, you could say, okay, well, this number is slightly different. If I compare these two, I have one one zero zero, and this one is one 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 zero, and that should actually kind of make sense because here I have three is clearly less than negative three is less than or equal to one or negative one. Negative 1 is less than or equal to 0. 1 is less than or equal to 1, right, because it's equal. And then 3 is clearly not less than or equal to, um, to 0. So, um, so you can do that. Something that people kind of forget, if I say, well, what's the opposite of x less than y? They'll be like, it's x greater than y. And I'm like, no way, man. Um, it's actually x is greater than or equal to y. So the opposite of um, the opposite of x is less than y is actually x is greater than or equal to y. And I can show you that logically. So there's the first thing, it's 1, 1, 0, 0. Its opposite is 0, 0, 1, 1. So if I just put, this is actually the opposite of the second thing. So if I ask you, what's the opposite of x less than or equal to y? Then you'd be like, the opposite of that is strictly greater than. So the opposite of strictly less than is greater than. So if I try to say that the opposite of less than was greater than, and I just show those, um, if I try to say the opposite of less than is greater than, it's actually not true. Because what happens is when things are equal, then it doesn't fall into either category. It's like saying that numbers are either positive or they're non-negative, or they're negative or they're non-positive. Because you can't say there's positive numbers and there's negative numbers. Well, there are, but it's like you can't say if a number is not positive, then it's clearly negative because it's not true because it could be zero. And so it's this kind of like like angsty stuff that um, makes you a good programmer is like being really picky and being like, but nah -uh. And so this is the like, but nah -uh part. So, so what you should be able to kind of do is if you're given something like x less than y to actually go through there and look at it 
and be able to tell what the output would be. So I know I've already kind of run all these again, but maybe change your numbers or do something. Um, anticipate what you think all of those are going to be and then make sure that it's coming out the way you think it will. So for example, the this last one, x is greater than y, I could say, well, that's clearly not true. That's not greater. That's not greater. That's not greater. That one finally is greater. So I've got 0, 0, 0, 1. So you have less than, you have less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to. And then, of course, you have the third thing. I'm just running out of things. Is x is equal to y. Now, this looks really funny because you're like, but how can you have things equal to each other? So I'll take that out for a second. Um, I'll just have x is equal to y. And that's just doing a straight comparison. So um, I'll hide these for a second so that you can see what's going on. So if I have x is equal to y, I'm asking the question, are they equal? Now something that you'll notice here is when you're asking if they're equal, then you use the double equal sign. So what I'm doing is I'm actually asking, is x equal to y? So I have this, is that equal to y? No. Is that equal to that? No. Is that equal to that? Yes. Is that equal to that? No. So I'm actually asking the question. Notice the huge difference between that and that. So look at what you're going to see. So if I run both of these together, what happens is you see that there's x, so there's x, and there's y. I'm saying is x equal to y, and it's giving me a true, false, or false, false, true, false. But then the next statement actually sets the value of x to what is currently y. So it actually changes the value of x. x used to start with a negative 3, and now x actually starts with a negative 1. So this is a huge, huge, huge deal. Um, if you accidentally go in and try to say x is equal to y, if you're trying to ask the question is x equal to y, but you don't put in that double equal sign, then what you accidentally do is you change the value of x itself. So you really don't want to do that. That said, you can have this weird thing, big thing, third thing, where you can say, instead of just throwing that back to an answer, you can store that information. So that's a really, really weird looking thing, but it's totally true, and I think that helps to kind of, or maybe it makes it worse, I don't know, either makes it really, really clear or just totally messes it up. But the idea that the double equal sign is very, very different from the single equal sign. The single equal sign sets something to a value. The double equal sign sets something, or it doesn't set something, it's asking a question, are these equal? So if you were going to guess what is the opposite of an equal, hopefully you say not equal. Now you might not know how to say not equal. In MATLAB you use tilde y, and the tilde thingy is the, I'm pointing to my keyboard like you can see, it's shift left pinky, shift up left pinky so um, so that should be the exact opposite if I run it and it is so these are not equal true these are not equal true these are equal false because or not equal false because they are these are not equal true and so you actually get the opposite um, whenever you do one versus whenever you do the other so this is kind of cool I'm pretty sure I guess we could test it um, I know for sure that it's gonna work on vectors I'm would be dead shocked if it didn't work on matrices. So if you want, um, add a couple of numbers and um, and then you can do a comparison and uh, make sure that those are equal and those are not equal. So yeah, I mean, you're just gonna get, oh, I suppressed them all so you can't see. Um, if I unsuppress them, then you should be able to see. But yeah, now you can see I've got the exact same thing I had before. Um, but instead of having a 1 by 4 matrix of 1s and zeros, I now have a 2 by 4 matrix of 1s and zeros.